So it's been a week after the release of patch 1.5 and after testing it out on a new playthrough, I gotta tell you, it's actually pretty decent. Especially compared to 1.3 which content wise was just fucking terrible. But this time CD Projekt actually added a lot of new content and by new content I mean content that was probably cut out before because it was underdeveloped but nevertheless it's here, we got it. And besides those changes there was also a lot of patches and fixes so you might actually think that the game is finally in a good tech technical state and it is not garbage anymore. Well, yes, but actually no. <laughs> Let me explain. So before I actually go into what in my opinion lies behind this patch and whether it is a good thing or a bad thing, let's go through some of the biggest changes that they added in this patch. <laughs> yeah, boy. So first big thing obviously is going to be the apartments. What's up y'all? Big Snoop Deal Double G. I want to welcome you out to my house. You can actually buy houses now in multiple locations. And finally, they got a use. For example, going to sleep gives you XP boost, shower also gives you benefits, and there are also some additional interactive elements in various houses. For example, if you buy the one in Japantown, you can like sit down and play guitar. Today is gonna be the day that they're gonna throw it back to you. Or you can actually just sit down and smoke a cigarette and contemplate about the state of cyberpunk I, I, I don't fucking know they ask you how you are you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine you just can't get into it because they would never understand so yeah there it is finally we got some rpg elements to the rpg game that we bought a year later <laughs> <laughs> Oh, and while we're at the houses, another big thing is the mirror. Finally, now you can change the appearance of your character. And it's free, but don't get too excited as you can only change a few features in it, not everything. So obviously it's a good change, but honestly, I'd much rather have an option to just go to like a barber or a ripper duck and, you know, have access to all those changes in case I wanted to change something major such as to, to have nipples or not. <laughs> I don't know, I think it's the only change that you can do to your body actually. Alright, next thing. Oh fuck. And personally I think this one is the best of all the changes because it's a fixer rework. Now after doing enough gigs for a certain fixer you can get a reward. And as they've said on the stream it gives the player the feel of progression and honestly I, I agree. Especially that the rewards are mostly good. Not everything though, there are some which are the tier of acts of white run unfortunately but also we can get like a car or a special katana so it's actually worth it and the last best improvement in my opinion is the ai changes and the balance changes so you might be wondering if it's all good now to answer your question here is a clip of me double jumping on a police woman's head and then i steal a police car that probably belongs to them because it's next to them and and they don't move a muscle, they just watch me do it. So, yeah. <laughs> but to be honest, compared to what was before, it's actually, it's way better. It's actually playable now. And I am serious, I'm actually, I'm actually not joking. So, you know, these are the biggest changes, in my opinion, that add the most to the gameplay. But also there's a ton of smaller changes. For example, you can now throw knives and actually retrieve them. You don't have to like carry 10 million knives in your inventory. They also said they fixed the vehicle handling or they improved it, but in my opinion, it's still fucking broken. <laughs> but, the, but the bikes are actually good, so yeah. Now you can actually sleep next to your wife of choice. And if you're a player, they actually send you nudes. But it's not that major in my opinion, since you can find more pictures like that pretty easily if you know where to look. And you don't even have to play the game for it. Oh my god, that's disgusting. I Naked pics online? Where? Where did he post those? And besides those, there is a lot of different smaller or bigger changes and secrets that you actually gotta find yourself, you know, roaming around Night City. Such as having an iguana in your apartment or turning off the street lights at some point of the map. <laughs> So if you think about it, the only things that the game really misses right now is the metro system, the sewer system, the garage and options to modify your vehicles, weapon skins that you can choose, better graphics optimization, more joy toys, gambling, visible cyberware, factions or gangs that you can join, actual story DLC. <sighs> okay, but jokes aside for a moment. 
In my opinion, these are really good changes, just like I've said in the beginning. These are really good and it's good to see that CD Projekt actually listens to the players and adds the stuff that we ask for. But guys, it's been more than a year from the release. I mean, take Witcher for example, okay? A year after release of The Witcher 3, there already were two huge DLCs. I mean, Blood and Wild was just enormous. Hearts of Stone, also big. Maybe not content kind of big, but story-wise, it was, it was great. While here, you know, a year later, we just get a little bit of the cock content, probably, and some additions. So, you know, the real question right now, in my opinion, is which route will this game go because i think there are two routes for cd project right now so the first route obviously is continuing the support for the game and you know adding new tanks improving the game you know making it as good as it should have been from day one or even better then adding some story dlcs and making it a complete product and the second route which is not so positive is just you know cutting it loose because honestly, I start to wonder whether it will still pay off for them to focus on this game and not just switch to something else to get more money. I mean, it's a corporation after all. But, you know, considering that it's been quite a while after the release, I think this is an option, unfortunately. And, you know, now if it comes to my personal opinion, I would really like them to take the first route, which is the positive route. Because I gotta tell you, I don't think I played a game as good as cyberpunk in the past years because you know besides the bugs that were obviously there i still really enjoyed the gameplay like the combat was super fun for me creating the right build was also super good as there's plenty of options skill trees but the absolute best thing about this game is obviously the story like dude say whatever you want but story wise this game is a masterpiece and I dare to say that this game, even with the bugs, is still much better than most of the AAA releases in the past years. And based on that, I know that this game has huge potential left and it's just waiting to be explored. And I also hope that it has as big financial potential because, you know. So to sum up somehow and tell you what I think might be the truth behind this patch is that I think that it serves as kind of like a crossroads from a straight line as it doesn't seem to be dedicated for people who already own the game and it isn't supposed to like encourage them to play it again but it feels like it's mostly aimed for people who haven't played it before because of the poor technical state of the game and obviously people who own the ps5 and the new xbox because now they can actually buy the game play the game and there's even a demo so with that said it just feels like the game is being brought to speed you know it's being brought to some point in which it can actually be sold without getting too many refunds so this patch could either be a foundation for the upcoming content because obviously it would be easier to implement new stuff to something that is already working than something that is broken or it can serve as a final touch to something that was supposed to be the greatest but unfortunately wasn't yet it still has to be sold but the good thing is that there already are rumors about new patches coming up so yeah let's just hope they're gonna keep coming and and they're not gonna be the last oh and if someone from cd project is actually watching this video guys please let people pet the fucking cat <laughs>